Well, hey, everybody. Hey, you guys out there in Facebook land. This is our first uh, workout back and uh, your first opportunity to see what an in-person class looks like. Everything is going to be remain the same that you've been doing all along, but, um, but there'll be more people involved. So uh, feel free to go ahead and make comments. Uh, in the, uh, I won't be able to, to, uh, to respond during the workout, but if you leave a comment, I'll get back to you. Okay. Well, let's do it then. Side straddle hops for 10. Ready? Exercise. One, two, three. 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 Okay, that's enough. We're done all done, everybody. Woo! Let's, yeah, that was enough for me. Let's just, okay. Dumbbells in your hands. We're going to do a set of wide stance sumo squats. Double squat, double press. Feel free to use just one dumbbell if you would like. Uh, one person at 530, use no dumbbells. That's perfectly okay. Here we go. Double squat, double press. Ready? Exercise. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. 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 There we go. Put the dumbbells down and get on your mats on your backs and let's crunch. I'm going to give you one minute to do a crunching exercise of your choice. Ready and go. We're on the clock. You should be crunching out there in, in uh, Facebook Live land. So it's good, to, it's good to actually be leading the workout in front of you guys. I know you're, you'd much prefer Ashley. I would much prefer Ashley too. If you can hear okay, I'm not sure about the sound. If you can hear okay, give me a thumbs up. I might be able to see your thumbs up or some emoji that lets me know that I'm not just talking to my phone in the gym. Okay. <laughs> so, so far just, okay, I got, I got some emojis. Thank you, y'all. Thank you. <laughs> Marnie, I think I told you that um, we had, two years ago, we had gone to, when we were up doing our New England tour to see Matthew at the Naval War College, we popped across the state line into Maine so we could say that we went to Maine and had dinner. But this was our first time to do Maine proper. That's what I called it. That's good. That's good. Don't go anywhere. Just roll over on your stomach for a set of lower back extensions. Lower back extensions, y'all. So out there in Facebook land, I should probably call you guys something other than Facebook land. So arms straight ahead like Superman. You're going to flex up. Ready? Exercise. Up, two, three. One, two, three. 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 Flex up. Look up. Hold that for ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, Three, two, one. There we go. Roll back for a good lower back stretch. I think the balloons now, the helium has started to dissipate. Now the balloons are coming down to visit us. Those of you that are tuning in, uh, apparently in the gym over the weekend or at some point, they had a little celebration with some balloons and they went up to the ceiling. Now the helium is... I don't think it's going to... Nope, not going to do it, Tony. Ashley put this over there, didn't she? Lex, you can take those home if you want. Get Potter to chase them around the house. Three, two, 
One, there we go, there we go. All right. No need to go anywhere. Uh, let's go ahead and get on up. Let's get on up. No, no, stay where you are. Stay where you are. Sorry. It's my first day on the job. How about we do some donkey kicks? How about that? Donkey kicks. Let's see if I can adjust this, this camera a little bit. Sorry, y'all. I'm, I'm, it's, it's, it's new. I'm, I'm just learning my, my job myself. So f bear with me. Okay, let's see here. Oh, that may work. Okay, donkey kicks up on all fours. And we'll donkey kick with the right leg first. Ready? Exercise. One, two, three. 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 Now all the way back and all the way up and hold that for ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. There we go. Let's switch and go the other way. Ready? Exercise. One, two, three. 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 One, two, three, now all the way back and all the way up and hold that for ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. That's good. Dirty dogs with the right leg first. Ready? Exercise. One, two, three. 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 There we go. Now braise it all the way up and extend it out to the side and make it parallel to the deck. And hold that for ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. That's good. Let's switch and go the other way now. Ready? Exercise. One, two, three. 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 Raise the leg up. Extend it out to the side so that it's parallel to the deck. And hold that for ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. There we go. Everybody up on your feet. Side straddle hops for three. Ready? Exercise. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. And walk that off for a second. Uh, you can get a sip of water if you would like. I'm still trying to adjust this thing to get it right. I'm trying. Okay, look this way. Okay, you can't look this way, but you can look in this direction. Thank you. Thank you. I worked for the last 14 months on that joke. Come on. Okay, so we're going to do push-ups, and if you've, uh, if you've been following along on Facebook Live... What I discovered by, uh, in a consultation with a couple of physical therapists who work a lot with athletes is a modification, an alteration in how we do the push-up. In that, So in the down position, when you're all the way down, your elbows are to your side. They're not out this way. They're here, and your hands are here. When you do that, your chest expands and your shoulder blades come together. Well, they don't touch, obviously, but they, but they come toward one another. I'm calling that the squeeze. So what I want you to do is, on your mats, your hands will be here. I want you to feel that squeeze, and then we're going to do about three together, trying to work on maintaining the squeeze, and then I'll give you some time to work on it on your own. I'll give you like 30 seconds or 45 seconds, something like that, to work on these on your own. Okay? So on your mats, on your stomach, we'll start there, and remember, your hands are to your, right here at your side, your elbows are to your, your side as well. So your elbows are not flayed out this way. They're tucked in here. So you should be able to feel the squeeze there. Do you feel it? Now, I want you to maintain that squeeze throughout the repetition. Stand by. Push up. Marine Corps. Ready? Exercise. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. See? I told you three. Now, that's not all we're doing, of course. <laughs> so on your own, I'll put you on the clock. I want you to work on that. I'm, work, I'm looking for quality and not quantity here. So 
maintain the squeeze. It'll feel a little bit different. It'll feel a little odd if you've not done it before, but I think you'll see that there'll be a benefit. The, one of the benefits is that it takes the stress off of your shoulder joint. All right, stand by, push up, Marine Corps, and you are on the clock for 25 minutes. Okay, just, just check and make sure somebody, everybody was awake. So maintain the squeeze. Keep your elbows back toward your, your body. In the down position, have your elbows back closer to your body, not far away. So keep your elbows closer to your body. Squeeze your shoulder blades together and keep that squeezed throughout the repetition. Keep that squeeze throughout the repetition. I'm still not, I'm still not satisfied with, with my camera work. I'll figure it out. Sorry, y'all. That's right. Work on quality and not quantity here. So maintain the squeeze. Keep the squeeze throughout the repetition for five, four, three, two, one. There we go. That's good. Everybody up on your feet. Side straddle hops for three. Ready? Exercise. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. I'll let you walk that off. Maybe even get a sip of water. I know I need one. So uh, many of you know that Ashley and I were in Maine uh, almost two weeks ago. We were in Maine for a week, primarily for me to do research. And uh, a friend that I've a friend that I've met here's my new friend. It's the blue balloon, um, who is a Mainer had, has lived in Maine most of his life. And I, his name is Dennis. He goes by D. I said D. When I get up there, will I need to uh, turn on my best Rhett Butler and Foghorn Leghorn? My, my, uh, my affected southern accent is a cross between the two. Foghorn Leghorn, Rhett Butler, when they meet together, that's my affected southern accent. I said, should I do that so that the uh, Mainers will know that I'm, not, that I'm from out of town? And he, <laughs> we've talked on the phone before and he said, Oh no, Tony, we'll know already. You, you, you only, and they don't say that you're from somewhere else. They say you're from away. So I would tell them, I'm from away, y'all. I'm from away. Yeah. And they would say, huh. A couple of the main ladies said that I had a, a very pleasant southern accent. I am. I'm, I'm holding on to it. All right, here we go. Side straddle hops for three. Ready? Exercise. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Okay. Dumbbells in your hands. We're going to do... Now, dumbbells are going to be optional here. We're going to do stationary lunges. Uh, you can use one dumbbell, two dumbbells, no dumbbells, whatever you need to do. I'm not making fun of anybody. I'm not shaming anybody about anything. We have had a very weird year. So, all sins are forgiven. I absolve all of you. I have that ability now. I, I do. I, I absolve you. I absolve you. Okay. Left. <laughs> I absolve you, mediocrities of the world. <laughs> I'm their patron saint. Left leg forward, right leg back. Ready? Exercise. One, two, three. One, One two, three. Two. One, two, three. three. One, two, three. Four. One, two, three. Five. One, two, three. Three. Six. One, two, three. Seven. One, two, three. Let's switch and go the other way. Ready? Exercise. One, two, three. One, One two, three. Two. One, two, three. three. One, two, three. Four. One, two, three. Five. One, two, three. Six. One, two, three. One, two, three. There we go. Put the dumbbells down. Side straddle hops for three. Ready? Exercise. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Let's do a little balance work, shall we? 
little balance work, easy balance work. Plant the left leg, bring the right leg straight up. Hold it as high as you can get it for 30, 29, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Plant the right leg, bring the left leg straight up, and hold it for 30, 29, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. There we go. Walk that off for just a second. So the trip to Maine, that was the first time I'd been more than two miles from my house. And I'd only been two miles from my house to go to the VA to get the, the, the vaccine. That was it. The uh, VA opened that up for all honorably discharged veterans back in February. Uh, Kathy, did your husband take advantage of that or did he get vaccine, vaccination through some other means? Other means. Paying, paying Johnny in the back, in the back alley. Psst. Hey, buddy, want to do some vaccines? <laughs> I didn't even know about it. The VA didn't do a very good job of, of getting the word out. One of my, one of my buddies sent me a message and said, "Tony, have you gotten your vaccine yet?" I said, "I'm waiting for you know the age to drop or, you know, for them to open it up." He said, "The VA will give it to you now. They're giving everybody." If you're an honorably discharged veteran, they're giving it to you now. I said, doesn't matter your age or health. And, nope. So there it was. Here we go. Side straddle hops for three. Ready? Exercise. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Okay, dumbbells in your hands. And on your mats, on your backs, we're going to do a set of flies and pullovers. Flies and pullovers. So the first five, we're only going to do ten. So the, for the first five, you're going to do them with your hands facing inboard. For the last five, you'll do them with your hands facing your feet. Here we go. Push the dumbbell straight up. Hands facing inboard for your flies and pullovers. Ready? Exercise. Go out for one, two. Take it back for three. And that is? And one, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Three, now, hands facing your feet. Hands facing your feet. We'll continue on with the same exercise. Ready? Exercise. Go out for one, two. Take it back for three, and that is? And one, two, three. 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 Three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Eight's enough for that. Put the dumbbells down. Everybody up. Everybody up. Side straddle hops for three. Ready? Exercise. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. And walk that off for a second. Now give yourself a little room. When I said that at the 530 class, give yourself a little room. You should have heard the groans. People were going, oh, 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 what's next? Oh. So give yourself a little room. We're going to do the two-step Heisman Trophy drill. I did not demonstrate that this morning, and I should have, because <laughs> people apparently forgot how that exercise worked. So imagine that you've got a big tractor tire, and you're just going to be stepping in and stepping out of the big tractor tire. It's one, two, one. One, two, two, one, two, three, and so forth. You got it for 30 seconds. Ready and go. 30, 29, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, one and walk that off a little bit. 
<laughs> Lexi, did you work up a sweat at all? Okay. Sarah looked like the black balloon was following you around too. <laughs> I don't... Melissa said it's not a bad omen, but I'm not so sure that she's wrong, that she's right about that. Okay, dumbbells in your hands, we're going to start up Jim Signer's wood chipper. So one dumbbell in your right hand, we'll start up the wood chipper. Here we go. Left leg forward, right leg back. Ready, exercise. One, two, three. 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 One, two, three, and switch. Let's go the other way. Give me a full range of motion, y'all. Full range. Ready? Exercise. One, two, three. 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 There we go. Put the dumbbells down. And side shuttle hops for three. Ready? Exercise. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. How about a little more balance work? Plant the left leg. Bring the right leg straight up. Twist the right leg around so that your right knee is facing down to the floor and the sole of your right foot is facing up to the ceiling. And we'll hold this for 30, 29, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Put the right foot down, bring the left up, twist the left leg around like we did the right, left knee pointing down, and hold this for 30, 29, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and walk that off. Maine's got lobster joints like we have barbecue joints. There's there's just they're just everywhere. I'll just stop there. And of course we did find our we did find plenty of donuts to to uh, to compare to Gibson's just so we could say, yeah, Gibson's is still number one. But a couple of them are really trying hard up in Maine. And one of them is making them out of potatoes. So we th- oh well let's try that. Nasty. It's nasty. I know, but it's a, it's a completely different, no, yeah, <laughs> yeah, f- french fries dipped in honey was not what that donut tasted like. Then they had one, it was, it was some sort of a lavender something or another, and it had sort of lavender icing, and so Ashley said, let's try this, and I said, okay, let's try that, and as soon as you were bringing it to your mouth, you could smell the lavender like you were in a bathroom or a shower and you just got a whole bunch of lavender soap and you just done that. I couldn't get past the smell. I didn't eat it. All right, here we go. Side straddle hops for three. Ready? Exercise. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Okay, dumbbells in your hands. Dumbbells in your hands. And we'll do a set of alternating bicep curls. Alternating bicep curls. Here we go. Ready? Exercise. One, two, three. Three. One, two, 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 three. Eight's all we needed. All we needed. Put that down. And again, give yourself some room. Two step shuffle and touch. Two-step shuffle and touch only for 30 seconds. Uh, Let me remind you what that looks like. So it's shuffle, shuffle, touch, shuffle, shuffle, touch. That's all we're doing. Ready and go. You're on the clock. 30 seconds. 29, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 
20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and walk that off. I don't know if you guys noticed or not, but the, uh, the NFL draft happened the other day, and again, I did not get drafted. What's it going to take? <laughs> Apparently. Well, Tony, in your prime, did you have a chance? Well, I tried out. So, no then. <laughs> I can at least say I tried out for the Minnesota Vikings. I can say that. I thought maybe they might need a, a third-string long snapper. I figured I could do that job. Third-string long snapper, right? When, when are you going to go in? <laughs> I would think... I would think if you're the third string long snapper, you could just sit over there on the bench in a tuxedo. Because <laughs> you, could, you could post on Instagram during the game because I'm not going in. I'm not going in. All right, here we go. Side straddle hops for three. Ready? Exercise. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Okay. We're going to do a press. We're going to do some presses. What I want you to let's review the shoulder muscles just for a second. You veterans will know what's coming. It's my Latin lesson. So the shoulders are made up of three different muscles. Correct? Three different muscles. And the Latin name for them is the one in the front shoulder muscle is called the frontius shoulderus. The one on the top, this is two years of college Latin talking to you. The one on top is the topius shoulderus. And the one in the back is the the bacchus shoulderus, that is correct. So, of course, those are not the real names. I know this. It's all a joke. I made a joke in a Latin class. We were reading something called, I think it was called Petruchio's Dinner Party or, or Trimalchio's Dinner Party. I forget what it was. But anyway, in this rich person's dinner party, he had entertainers come through the dinner party to entertain the guests. And uh, one of the uh, entertainments, one of the, the acts was uh, talking animals. And one of them in particular was a talking pig. And someone in the class said, how could a pig talk? And I said, well, pig Latin, of course. <laughs> okay, back to the shoulders. So when you press the, the dumbbell straight up, when you press the dumbbell straight up, you're using primarily that, that top shoulder muscle. It's in concert with the other two, but you're sort of isolating the, the, the top one. What I want you to do is to experiment. Uh, we'll do this alternating, and I'll show you in just a second, but I want to explain to you why we're doing this. So if, if I take my arm straight up and down, so this is at level. This would be plumb, as would, some would say. So this would be plumb. So if I, if I press the dumbbell straight up like this, I, again, I'm using primarily that top shoulder muscle in concert with the other two. But now, if I change the angle just slightly to come forward, what do you think is happening then? I'm now getting that frontius shoulderus, right? So now, come back to here. If I go to the rear, if I go back just a little bit, what do you think then? The backius shoulderus. So if you will change the angle slightly, you will, you will find a difference. You'll, you'll see it. I think you'll feel a difference as well. So instead of going straight up and down, what I want you to do is with, with the left arm first, and you're going to be on your own for this, for the left arm first, I want you to go forward just a little bit, then back down. Straight up and down, then back down. To the rear slightly, then back down. Then trade arms. Go to the front just a little bit, back, all the way straight up and down and back, and then slightly to the rear. And alternate back and forth. We're going to do, do this for about a minute or so. So on your own count... And at your own pace, do that. So you press it up. I'm doing it to the front just a little bit. And then to the top, straight up and down. And then slightly to the rear. And then back. Now, 
With the other arm, I'm going to the front just a little bit, back down. Straight up and down, and back down. Now, slightly to the rear. You should feel the difference. Now, and again, to the front just a little, straight up and down, slightly to the rear. Now, to the front just a little, straight up and down, and slightly to the rear. To the front just a little, straight up and down, slightly to the rear. To the front just a little, straight up and down, and slightly to the rear. And that's going to do it, y'all. Put the dumbbells down. Put the dumbbells down. So let's, uh, let's review. If you did not feel a difference, start doing push-ups right now. Okay, if you felt a difference, just raise your hand. Okay, almost 100% participation. When I, if I threaten you with push-ups, if you don't raise... <laughs> okay. That's one of the other things I sort of... I didn't get that from a, uh, from a uh, physical therapist. I got that from an exercise science guy that I, I have a lot of trust and faith in. And he, he, he said, just make the slight adjustments, and you'll see that there will be a, a slight change in the dynamics of the exercise. And he was right. Okay, dumbbells right back in your hands, and we'll do a set of tricep extension. Wait a minute, put the dumbbells down. Don't get them up just yet. I had to, uh, I had to talk to the... 5.30 class about this because, you know, it's been a while for some of us, so let's just review. The tricep extension should be done straight up and straight back down. When you take the dumbbell up, you should be aiming that dumbbell for straight up to the ceiling, all the time staying back behind you, so that if you drop the dumbbell, it would fall harmlessly behind you. In my case, it would bounce off my booty, then it would fall harmlessly. <laughs> so... So the idea, though, here's what happens. Here's what happens. Here's what happens. People do this for a couple of repetitions, and then it starts to get hard, and then they do this. As soon as you break that plane, as soon as you break that imaginary plane from my spine all the way up to the ceiling, your spine all the way up to the ceiling, as soon as you break that plane and bring it forward, you're no longer working your triceps. In fact, you're no longer working much of anything because you get a little bit of a rest. That's why people do it. Here's the other thing. A lot of people want to bring it up, and then they'll want to twist like that. They want to twist like that. That doesn't do anything either. But what you want to do if you want to get a full extension, take it all the way up, and then just keep pushing it up like that. You want to keep pushing it up all the way. So you want all of your, of your, of your uh, range of motion to be behind that, that center line, behind your head. Okay? All right, dumbbells up. One, two, doesn't matter. Here we go. Ready? Exercise. One, two, three. One, two, everybody. One, two, three. Let's, let's kid the people at home that we got a whole crowd out here. One, two. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two. One, two. Three, there we go. Put the dumbbells down. Side straddle hops for three. Ready? Exercise. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Now, we're going to get on our mats and plank a little bit. What I want you to do for the plank, we're only going to do it for 30 seconds. 30 second plank. So, ordinarily, you might have your arms here and your back would be rounded. Here, your back is rounded. What I want you to do instead, arms further apart, and I want you to give me that same squeeze from the push-up so that your back is not rounded. In, in fact, your back will have uh, contours. I'm trying to come up with a... It will have, uh, it'll have topography. It'll, it'll have humps. <laughs> like a, like a two-hump camel. Uh, I guess I should just stop trying to come up with an analogy. Okay, try the plank my way. You're on the clock for 30 seconds. Ready? and go for 30, 29. Be sure and squeeze those shoulder blades together. Squeeze them together. Don't round your back. Squeeze them together. 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. All right. There we go. 
Everybody up. Everybody up. Side straddle hops for three. Ready? Exercise. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Hey, let's, uh, let's change gears and pray. How about that? How about that? I think <laughs> I've, I've read the room, and the room says, yeah, we're about done now. So let's take two minutes for some prayer meditation, and then afterwards we'll have a short little huddle up. So let's take two minutes for prayer meditation beginning now. Now you can come forward on your hands and flutter kick your legs behind you if you need to get some circulation back into your legs. And then from there you can roll back to a catcher stance. And from the catcher stance you can stand up straight, roll your shoulders back, breathe in deep and exhale slow. And we are done all done everybody. Turn to your neighbor, say way to go good neighbor. Way to go all you good neighbors. Way to go all you good neighbors. Um, so here's, here's what happened in Maine. I met, uh, I met with several scholars, several historians, uh, special collection archivist at a college, and I met an older man named Wilbur, who's a lifelong Mainer. And he said, uh, I was introduced by my friend Dee to Wilbur, and Wilbur, and Dee said, uh, Wilbur, Tony's from Arkansas. He said, Arkansas? Well, have you ever heard of a Arkansas tornado? And I said, well, yeah, of course. I grew up in Arkansas dodging tornadoes my whole life. He said, you know what the same thing is about an Arkansas tornado and a Maine divorce are? I said, uh, no. And he said, somebody's losing a trailer. Now, where's, where, thank you. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. I waited 14 months to tell that. That's, no, that's not true. Okay, listen. Uh, we're off to a smashing start. Tomorrow what we will do is uh, similar to, to what we would normally do on a Tuesday. We'll do a little bit of, of weight work, and then we'll go out to do some cardio. It, in the event of rain, we'll do a little weight work in here, and we'll still do some cardio in here as well. And what I say about cardio, I'm not saying everybody's going to go out for a run. I'm not saying anything like that. You will, we're all starting from someplace other than where we were 12, 13 months ago. <laughs> you will not see the beep drill for, for a six months. So, you know, that may, that may happen in the fall. We may do the beep drill in the fall, but no, have no fear that Tony's going to bring out the beep drill sometime soon. Uh, so what I want you mostly to do is to relax and know that, that we're, all in the same, we're all in the same boat. We all 
have experienced the same kind of madness over the last year plus, and that's also affected our health, our weight, our well-being. Uh, one psychologist described it not as depression, just as languishing, languishing, and I thought that seems to be the right term. It's not, it's not depression, it's, it's malaise, it's ennui. Oh, a little French. Oh, yeah. It's, it's that. It's, it's that. It's that languishing. So we're all trying to come back from wherever that was. So I'm not going to force anything on you. I'm not going to force anything on me. We're going to gradually work this thing up like we ought to, uh, according to exercise science. Yes, I could get in here and I could make you guys do all kinds of crazy things and push you hard, and tomorrow you won't be able to get out of bed. But why would I do that? What would be the point in that? What would be the right thing is to do what we're doing? Okay, stand by. Battalion of 10, you're dismissed! Good job, everybody. Thank you, everybody, our Facebook Live for joining us. This is, uh, this is all weird for us, too. I'm still trying to figure all this out. So thank you for joining us. Uh, we won't be Facebook Live tomorrow, but we will be on Wednesday. So we'll see you on Wednesday. Thanks for tuning in, y'all. See you then. <laughs>